I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. If you've been patiently waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 7, well, you're getting an early Christmas present. You can now jailbreak your iOS devices, and it's very, very simple, and I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is go to the Evasion website. It's evasion.com. Now, that's with a zero, not an O. I'll have a link to the website in the description. Once you get there, you're going to either choose your Mac OS X or Windows, whichever one you're running. You're going to download the app application. Once you have it downloaded, make sure you plug in your iOS device. Once you do, you're going to run the application and it's going to check to make sure that your device is compatible with the new Evasion software. If it is, all you have to do is click the jailbreak button. Once you hit that jailbreak button, it's going to go through all the processes. At some point, you're going to have to tap on the Evasion application on your device and that will continue the process. Now, if you do run into some issues, you you may have to restore your device. If you do, it's not all that difficult and go through this process again. But once it's done, you're going to see you're going to have Cydia on your iOS device and there you go. You are now jailbroken. I want to point out that not everything works in Cydia right now. Not everything is updated to iOS 7, some of the more popular programs and such, but there are some right now that, of course, will work with iOS 7 and some that aren't. So just make sure you're reading the description of the application you're trying to install from Cydia. I'm sure the developers are well aware of this jailbreak now and are busily trying to get their programs working with iOS 7. So there you go. It is super, super simple. All you have to do, download that application, push the button to jailbreak, and then it'll just walk you through the steps pretty simple. And of course, this jailbreak is working on all iOS devices running iOS 7.0 through 7.0.4. Now, if you do jailbreak, make sure you don't update when Apple releases its new iOS because likely you're going to lose the jailbreak and who knows when you'll be able to jailbreak it again. Now, if you enjoyed this video and it helped you out, make sure you leave a like. It does help me grow my channel and feel free to subscribe. That way you won't miss any of my future videos or giveaways. For more daily iOS and Apple news, make sure you check out iPhoneInCanada.ca. I'm Chris with iPhone in Canada. Thanks for watching.